All right, so let's start with the big story that we're tracking on Vyond Adesar, where Health Secretary of the United States, Alex Azar, has just landed in Taiwan in what is being described as the highest level U.S. visit to Taiwan in over four decades. Now, this move by Washington comes at a time when the U.S.-China relations remain at a historic low. Azar is the most senior cabinet member of the Trump administration to visit Taiwan since 1979. Washington had broken off its official ties with Taipei back in 1979 in favor of Beijing. The United States had then switched diplomatic recognition from Taiwan to China. While the United States remains the leading arms supplier to the island nation, it has historically been very cautious in holding official contact with it. However, in recent years, relations between Taiwan and the United States have been at an all-time high, and Taiwan's success at curbing the pandemic has also earned the nation some growing bipartisan support in Washington. And during the three-day visit, so it's, he's going to be around for about three days, Health Secretary of the United States Alex Azar will be meeting with President Tsai Ing-wen, who has been seen as a strong ally of the country. The Washington has described this trip as an opportunity to learn from the island's fight against the pandemic. In a recent interview, Azar said, and I quote, "Taiwan has been a model of transparency, cooperation, and collaboration in the public health sphere, whether working on Ebola in Congo or on COVID." He also mentioned that he was going there to reaffirm U.S.'s partnership with Taiwan. Now, this statement has been seen as a direct jab at China. Beijing has been repeatedly accused of not being completely transparent about the pandemic. Now, China has also hit back at the visit, saying that the United States cabinet visit to Taiwan endangers peace in the region. Now, Beijing has also urged Washington to abide by the One China principle, asking them to not send any wrong signals. Towards Taiwanese independence, the China has also warned the United States of countermeasures if they go through with the visit. This, of course, is being seen as a crucial diplomatic upping of the ante by the Americans. It is a Secretary of Health of the Trump cabinet who is visiting Taiwan. And remember, the United States had broken off its diplomatic ties with Taiwan way back in 1979 on the compulsion that China had stated that the United States should only recognize the One China policy and therefore should not have any diplomatic relations with Taiwan. However, there appears to be a certain rethink on the part of the Americans. The health minister, the health secretary of the United States, landing in Taipei, is of course being watched very closely by Beijing, and it'll be interesting to see as to how Beijing, of course, responds to this. And China has stated that the Americans should not swim in troubled waters, and that is how this particular visit by a member of the Trump administration visiting Taipei is going to be looked at, of wading into the troubled waters of an area that China considers to be its sphere of influence. Now, Taiwan, of course, is some is a nation that is heavily. Reliant on American help in terms of the military hardware that it gets, in terms of other aid. Now, on the face of it, the Americans are stating that the reason as to why the health secretary of the United States is visiting at Taiwan is because they would like to know more about how successfully Taiwan has been able to bring the COVID-19 infection under control.